Greetings, this is Pentim. Hey, Pentim, nice to uh, have you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. How can I help you today? So, um, my main question is, uh, it looks like the, the secret government, the evil guys, the cabal is winning at the moment. And um, if they're winning, it's an interesting situation. They look, it looks like they take charge of the planet and they take control of the planet and their control is not so bad so far. It might lead to the crash, but it didn't lead to the crash yet. No, there's too much. There's, there's a lot of planning that goes into a stock market crash or a, a universal, a planetary crash. That is something that is, needs a great deal of attention. And so in order for that to happen, uh, they have to make sure all the conditions are right because if they are not, whoever comes back into control, which they hope will be themselves because they want a one world monetary unit that will be easier con to control and they own a lot of the gold base for those monetary units instead of having so many different currencies. So what will have to happen is this, that the stock market crash will have to destroy um, all the different currencies. These, the currencies will have to be worthless until one currency is made for the whole planet. This has not been, um, they have not planned how to do that yet. So is their plan, does their plan include the, the, the market crash or is it? Oh yes, absolutely. But it's not ready yet. Uh, they're keeping it afloat for several reasons. First of all, uh, the monetary units that they want to use, plus they have to actually can uh, destroy Bitcoin at the same time and all those, uh, uh, sci-fi coinages and it, everything will have to fail in order for what they want to do to work because they want control of it all you see right, and right. if there's some if there's other controls happening in other places well then that defeats their whole purpose so they need to have the one control because it is part of their one control plan. They want to depopulate the world and make the population much smaller so that they can get them under control of one government and then put everyone on the one unit of currency control, one kind of currency control, and grow the population back out with them in full control. Right now, there's many in control. They do control the outlook of the, the world, but they do not control each country and all the governments and all that thing. They, they, they cannot and do not have that kind of control yet, but they, they do want it. But first, they must uh, depopulate the world so that they can get everyone on the same page and get everyone thinking the same. You see, right now everybody has all these different thought processes. They're polarized, which they want that for now. They want everybody to be polarized and fighting each other because that gives them time to plan ahead. With everyone fighting each other, they pay less attention to what is happening with the cabal and the, the people in the cabal. So therefore, it is just the way it is. They're, they're keeping everybody in disturbed uh, packages. And that, this is the way it is around the world. Your world, in Europe, they're, um, uh, they're uh, polarized there about Brexit or whatever it's called. And they're polarized about uh, different political thought processes same in Australia, in uh, China to some extent, in the United States, of course, and even in Canada. So 
there's many places in the world where everything is polarized and the people are, are not liking what's happening. They're having uh, very, very distinct and polarizing views about things and they're fighting about it. And so that is something that uh, the cabal likes because it draws the attention away from a lot of other things. Now, uh, there's so much involved in their planning that it's hard to get that even uh, out there. So uh, hard to even tell you everything that's happening because with only a few people being in charge of the world uh, at some point, they have to make sure that the world decreases in population. But they're throwing a lot of their own people under the bus. They're saying to the people, uh, uh, look, there's these kinds of things happening that are very positive, and very beautiful. Like they're throwing um, the child molesters out into the open so that people will notice that. And they're uh, the drug trafficking and the uh, human trafficking is being very, that's something that's being uh, very noticed right now that these people are coming into, uh, into under investigation and under the eyes of the people and, and the law. And these are areas where the cabal just doesn't, don't want their hand in it anymore. They don't want it. So they're getting rid of that portion of their establishment that, that was at the very end of their or at the end of their list of things that needed done or at the very end of their list of things that were getting them money and things. So they're getting rid of those part of the cabal that were in into those really, really negative things. They want themselves to look better. They want to have a better uh, view whenever they become, uh, whenever things get, get better. They want people to look at them in a more positive light. So they're bringing all this very negative things out in the open. So that is part of their plan. Uh, so which way do they depopulate the world? Which way what? Which way do they plan to depopulate the world? To manipulate it? Depopulate. First of all, they're trying with disease. It's not working that way, but it will, they're still working on that to make it more <clears throat> devastating, to make it more uh, severe and deadly. I see. That is only one way. I think they have other ways that they have in mind. They do control weather machines. They do work, control some other kinds of uh, technology that are very dangerous. They have not yet used that, that particular technology yet, but you'll see them experimenting with it when you see energy, uh, great energy uh, blasts that come from the South Pole, that come in the middle of countries, where are these energy blasts coming from, from the atmosphere and from other places? These energy blasts, we do not know what they are using them for, but we know that they are testing them for some reason. How about nuclear weapons? Nuclear weapons, that's messy. And they can be affected by that as well. They would prefer not. However, if it is a, a last resort, perhaps. But they want to be able to live in the world after they depopulate it. So nuclear weapons would leave radioactive resonances and make parts of the world uninhabitable. And so it would not be their first choice. I see. Um, <clears throat> did you figure out who is um, 
toes, which is carnation is which incarnation is uh, the incarnation of toes? Incarnation. Uh, did you figure out who is toes in 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 this reality? He's more in a universal sense than a just uh, earthly sense. He's a more universal figure and not just a figure from uh, of the earth. Although this is a very unique time in history when things can go either way. And I know this, you mentioned at the beginning that you thought that the cabal was winning. However, um, <clears throat> I don't know if that's true or not, because there are great pockets of light workers that are helping to stop that movement of negativity. However, all right, you talk about Toth. Toth is uh, someone that is on the good side and the bad side. He is someone that controls a lot of things and has his hands in everything. But that's in a universal sense, not just in the sense of your planet. Although he did um, manage to bring about the separation of different religions so that people would have fear as one of their guides. And fear is a great control unit. Fear is something that is uh, used very commonly by those in power to keep people uh, under control. Because if they use fear, then they can say, don't do that because if you do, this will happen and they have this negative effect for it, and then people are frightened of it and will not do it. So with religion, it's the same way. They say, oh, here, you, have, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. If you do, you're going to a bad place. And if they have that control, then they can tell people what to do and manipulate them and get them under the control that they want them under. Right. Um, so what is our hope? Where should we move? Keep working with your light units. People are becoming much more evolved in your society faster than they expected. There are some people that are um, very, very evolved and very uh, light oriented and actually uh, able to bring in greater energies than once was thought able for this time period. And so this is a, a time of great, a, a great battle between the dark and the light because the light is, where the light is strong, it is very strong. Where the dark is strong, it is very strong. So there is a great battle. There is also a polarization in a, uh, dark against light as well. But many people are confused on which side they're on. They're the, the, the regular third dimensional being, the re third dimensional people do not know what is going on because they keep the information very confusing. They keep uh, saying things that are very confusing and no one knows who to follow or what to do. And so they'll take a side and they'll be very loyal to that side because that's the side they chose. And so they're sticking to it because the other side, just they're saying bad things about it, but they're also saying bad things about your side, but you don't choose to believe that. So the, the polarization goes also with the light and dark and they're trying to confuse people to which side is which. And, and you must pay attention to know the difference. Yeah, you, you raised a very nice point. That's my point as well, that I'm not taking sides in those artificial divisions that they created. But um, it's really hard to find the side which you can take because there is no, uh, no community which is... Um, un, un, yeah. Yeah, uh, which is clear, which is clean, which is un unharmed or un 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 darkened. 
but that is the majority of your people. They do not want to take a side. The majority of the people in your world will choose to be neutral, at least until time where they have to make a decision. And then they're confused about which way to go. But if they see something, a small glimmer of hope in one direction or the other, they will choose to follow it. So uh, one of the biggest um, fears is the mind control and um, uh, injection of some sort of mind control nanotechnology into people. Uh, is it coming and how is it coming? Yes, they wanted to come and the first way it would come is possibly through injections through vaccines. That is one way that it can possibly come. Now, that doesn't mean that's the way it's going to come because too many people are wise to that and will refuse it. And so if it, it comes down to that, there are many that would say, no, I don't want it. But they're trying to develop um, waves of energy that work with the brain that can control some thought processes. But right now, the most effectual way to control mankind is through fear. They have not found another way more effective. So they are wanting to find a, a technological solution to control man, but it could also destroy man and they need to test it more thoroughly thoroughly and they have not been able to do so so my um, research leads to the possibility to plug into the brain so basically to build a brain computer interface and the question is that uh, by doing my research I sort of help them to develop their mind control technologies um, what should I do they're they've they're already way ahead of you they already have gotten this information about how to control certain parts of the brain with certain energies, with certain um, patterns, if you will, of energy, and also certain vibrational uh, things affect the brain as well. So they know all of these things. They just don't know um, how to use it properly because it can be dangerous every let's put it this way every individual is different and so using the same brain brain waves and vibrations on everyone is not going to work they have to be patterned to each individual and how are they going to do that without the brain patterns and waves of every individual in the world they are not going to be able to control everyone with one brain brainwave pattern. It's not going to work. One brainwave pattern will control maybe a very small percentage of the world because every human being is different and works in a different functionality according to vibration, according to intelligence, and according to uh, the DNA that was given them. DNA is different all over the world and these vibrations are in the DNA. And so they must work with the DNA to be able to control mankind. And if it is not just a perfect link. It's not that they can find one particular vibration that will work for everyone, because it's not that way. Everyone on your planet of such a dis so, uh, many different kinds of rainway patterns, it, it just will not work. So they had to find something else. That's where the nanobots came in. They figured if they can send the nanobots into the individuals and into their brains, then the nanobots can learn each individual as they are and be able to control them more precisely instead of having brainwave control they will use the nanobots to learn the DNA, learn the effectiveness of the brain, and learn how to control it. Now, 
there's still problems with that because nanobots can also take over, which they don't really want. They don't want the nanobots to take over. They just want them to learn and send out the frequencies to the leadership of what they have learned. But they have not been able to control nanobots to the point where they just do one thing and stop. They are, they have taught nanobots to learn and to effectively move forward in their learning. So if they learn about the, the DNA and thought process, they're going to continue to learn about everything in the body and everything about the body and eventually take it over. Does that make sense to you? Uh -huh. So what's the hope? How do we get out of this mess? There, will, there are coming some hopeful things and your enlightened people are there to help you. Spirituality is part of the answer because the energy of spirit is greater than the energy of negativity. A posit an energy of positive spirits are greater than the energies of negative spirits. You just have to realize that. You have, your people have been taught that the physicality of your body is um, as far as you can go. Most enlightened individuals realize energy is coming from outside and from the inside. So they must bring the energy in so that the inside can be recharged and charged in a higher way than it was just from the human third dimensional experience. You must bring in the higher dimensions if you want to win. Wonderful, huh? And how about the political process? How this political process can... Um, so, if you are facing the crisis, is there a way to avoid the crisis or the crisis is needed either way? I do not know. I do not... I, there are several probable futures for your world. And at this point, it's about a 50-50 shot of your survival. But I'm hoping that that will change. The thing is about that is that I see a greater amount of people using spirit in a better way, using spirit in a more positive and expansion way. You expand with the spirit and not implode with the spirit. When you bring in energies from the outside in higher realms and higher dimensional thought processes, it charges the body in a different way. And so therefore, with this kind of recharging of the body, in a different way, it sends out a different kind of energy and a different kind of thought process and a different kind of reality. Because you create your own reality, and if you're bringing in higher realities, you're going to create a higher reality. Does this make sense to you? Uh-huh. And so as you create your higher reality in your world and become a brighter and more involved and enlightened individual, you're also bringing in greater energies from beyond and you're bringing in greater success for your uh, race, for your being, for your world, for your existence as a society, as a, an entity even. Uh, so t let's take practical examples. Suppose like uh, somebody's children are already chipped and uh, plugged in into the control network, brain, mind, mind washing, brainwashing network. Is there a way to overcome it somehow? They must start plugging into the parts of the network that are enlightened because of course with these outer energies, they're going to plug into everything. They're going to know that there is no way to uh, change the world without affecting the world in every way. So they must affect the internet as well as 
the environment as well as all things that are around them, all peoples, all places, all thought processes, books, sciences, etc. So therefore, these enlightened people will in fact affect and infect the internet in a positive way. Suppose, all right, suppose, um, you know, someone is already chipped. Is there a way to, uh, like, I, I met a person who is already under mind control. He, he has voices in, the, in his head. And, and yes. um, is there a way, what, what's the way for him to get, get, get the voices out and to get back his, his independence? First of all, he wants to, he has to want to get rid of them. He has to want that freedom. If he does not want that freedom, there is no hope. He must want to uh, know what the positive side is all about. If he does not want to know that, there is no hope. But the thing is, there is always hope. I, I say there is no hope, but only if they don't want it. If they resist it and they refuse the positivity, they, they will not get it. Because positivity will not come into them without them asking for it. But they somehow have asked for what they got. So they can be unchipped. That can be removed. But they must ask for it. How do they get unchipped? Um, any one of us out here know how, knows how to take that chip away. Yay! So just call Pentium and uh, Pentium will come and... Uh... Well, yes, Gert Fickner knows how. Many of the alliances out here, in fact all of them, will know how to get rid of a negative chip. We do. We, we've seen millions of them already. In fact, even more than a billion of them. And we have gotten rid of many of them, but they have to ask for us to get rid of them. We cannot just go in and take them. Uh, am I, so am there I, are still millions of them out there. Is that, am I uh, chipped by, by, uh, by the cabal? Are you? No. Nice. And my family? I do not know. I would have to examine them. Uh, yeah, in, in your spare time, send, send someone just to double check. Yes, I have a feeling that there might be some uh, mind control going on in your family, according to what you say and what you ha have said to me, but I would not know unless I checked. Thank you, huh? Now, it would be nice to get the perspective of someone on the Cabal side. Maybe some of the aliens who are controlling the Cabal, maybe they wish to speak and uh, oh. give me a positive perspective of their plans. Before I give you anyone to the, of the cabal or anyone that is associated with their energies, I must tell you this. Well, they are trying to interfere with what I'm going to say already because they know what I'm going to say. When you are talking to one of the cabal members, you're going to hear very interesting information that may seem very true and may seem even positive, but is, man, is a way of manipulating the mind into understanding their point of view and bringing their understanding to a wider audience in a way. Now, remember us talking about the time of separation where before this period of time, uh, there was no laws governing your planet because the governments did not ask for any particular rules and regulations to be given to the governments, uh, the uh, galactic government. And then there was a point where they started giving uh, the galactic governments rules and regulations to follow so that aliens could not come to this planet and aliens could not leave this planet, nor could humans leave this planet. So it is more like some would say then it became a prison planet. But 
it is not still a prison planet completely. But the thing is, there is a great amount more control now by the cabal than there was in the past. And it came from that point of separation where the laws were put into place. Before that, your world was rather free, but not anymore, not as free. So they're going to tell you that these rules and regulations are a very positive thing and that are a guidance for the earth so that no one can be fooled. No one can come in and take over. No one can come in and uh, make the earth their own because now they're, they're in control of the planet and that's a good thing. All right? So I could tell you all the things that they're going to say, but I'll let you talk to them. One moment, please. 